Hey guys, so today I am uh, at my personal home and I have a underground dog fence that has not been working since early or uh, late winter. And I am going to finally attempt to repair that today. I am going to use my uh, tractor and something I kind of made up uh, on the back of it to lay the wire. But um, I'll walk you around real quick and show you a couple obstacles that I got to get around. And uh, hopefully this should be a lot easier than the last time I did this. Uh, the fence wire went bad in the ground a couple of years after we moved in and I could not find the brake. I used a wire tracer and all that stuff, could not find the brake. So what I ended up doing was um, my wife and I ended up burying the entire thing again um, with shovels and we have an acre that we fence in so we basically took a spade and stabbed it in the ground, wiggled it back and forth, you know, six inches at a time all the way around an acre. It took hours and hours and hours. Uh, so today I'm hoping this will be a little easier and uh, I'll take you along for the ride so you can see how it works out. All right, so the first obstacle is um, my neighbor's cable line. Last winter their line went bad and uh, the cable company came out and replaced it. Um, I specifically asked them to run it up and around on the property line but they decided that they did not want to do that so it follows right in there and it runs up you can um, you can still see the scar there and then it crosses the middle of the yard um, kind of by that white building there um, i actually suspect this is partially um, potentially what caused something to uh, go bad um because there really hasn't been any disturbance anywhere around um, except for this and uh I can't, I still can't figure out what's going on. So I'll walk you around to the uh, next spot, but I've got a conduit that goes under the driveway here. And I've marked everything with white paint just so I can kind of see where I'm going uh, with the tractor while I'm driving. Here is my water main. So I want to be on the inside of this. Um, so if for some reason they ever have to do any replacement on the main or anything like that, they've got machines in here. Uh, hopefully they'll be on the ins I'll be on the inside of it a few feet so it, uh, that won't be disturbed. All right, so this is my twisted section. And uh, if you're not familiar with a underground dog fence, basically you have um, a box inside the house, which in my case is right next to that white box there in my basement. There is a, or two wires, a wire that comes from the box and then a wire that returns to the box. But if you twist them around on the way out, they, um, the dogs can cross over and it will not uh, affect them. So this is the end of my twisted section here. You can see it's twisted. Um, I actually did tie these two together to go inside and make sure that um, the loop light on my box lit back up. So this section uh, going to the house is good. So uh, once I get this fixed up, somebody's going to be in for an awakening here and uh, isn't going to have free reign of the neighborhood anymore. Okay. So like I was explaining earlier, um, the cable company ran my, ran my neighbor's line right along the edge of my driveway and then decided to cross right about there. I've marked um, basically the scar of the um, line you can actually see it right there so my old line came through right in the center of here and went all the way back and they did cross it i did dig up um, where they crossed it it didn't look damaged but uh it, it's hard to say what happened and at this point um i've i've given up trying to repair the old one and i would just like to get going on uh having a functional fence again so with that being said, this is what I'm using. I've got the uh, tractor here. Um, I put the loader back on so I've got some weight on the front to, if I need to put it in four wheel drive and help pull, I can. But uh, basically what I've got is a subsoiler um, with the blade right there. And I have used hose clamps there and used a piece of PVC with a 90 degree elbow. Um, I'm going to feed the wire through that and then should just be able to hopefully drive the perimeter where I want the fence to go. So with uh, all that being said, um, I'll get everything set up to go. Uh, only other thing I've got is the wire itself. 
um, some crimpers, a heat gun for some heat shrink connectors, and then uh, my box, I keep all that stuff in. So uh, let me get set up and we will get this underway.
starting at. that is 500 feet it is not pretty and going through all those trees obviously you saw that there were some roots and stuff um, but all can things considering it's working pretty good let me uh, get that second spool and we'll get that uh, hooked up and keep on going all right guys so I am just using um, heat shrink butt splices um, this size it I don't remember but it's the red one it seems to work pretty well so I'm sure over here and I'm going to so uh, I should make it easier to grab those and we're going to start over here this should be through this three more things you have to so that's that I should be through the wrong board should be okay alright so that is we're ready to kind of push that in here we go
able to see yeah you can well I'll, I'll be honest here I just I clipped my cable line I don't think we heard it though um, I knew it was there and just forgot so <laughs> but uh, I'm actually at the end of the driveway here anyways so what I'm gonna do hold on a sec there you can hear me now um, I'm actually almost at the end of the driveway so what I'm gonna do is just run ahead um, with the spool I'll, I'll take you with me but gonna run ahead with the spool and since I started on the other side of the driveway anyways I kind of did this on purpose but so this is the old line I dug this up and what I'll do is I'll tie onto it at the other side of the driveway and pull this line through and then I'll just put a splice right here um, and then hand bury it uh, across the cable line since they had to bury it right there um, so pretty much that is it though I've, I've got the whole yard done now um, so I'm gonna pull a lot of extra because I'd rather have extra than wish I had a few more feet and uh, I'm actually gonna put you down for a second and cut this and wrap the spool up and I'll be right back all right so if you don't know anything about me I used to work for the cable company um, and I actually installed this line so I know it should, I'm gonna get the tractor out of here and look at it and see if I've damaged it at all. Um, I don't know why, so I used to just be a technician. When I buried it, I laid it across the ground and then the crew that buries it came back and they left a bunch of slack and coiled it up there. Uh, I don't know why they do that, but anyways, let me get this tractor out of the way here. All right guys, so looking at this, um, this is the part that comes and I think it loops around this way and heads up to the house. Um, I didn't hit it except for right here where this coil is. Um, and looking at it, I did not, um, I didn't even damage it at all. So that's why uh, I was trying to go real slow, obviously, you know, to make sure. Um, I think that's the most damage I did right there was I just kind of chafed that jacket. But um, as long as you don't break through it, it's still watertight and good to go. So I will, just hand bury this real quick um, up to this point and then I accidentally broke it but you can see right here um, this is the other end of that um, if I have to dig a little bit where I painted that I can but that goes into a piece of PVC that I ran underneath the driveway and I'll pull through and then like I said I will um, splice it on the other end there and then all we'll have to do is the splice or the connections behind the house and we'll be good to go all right so got it under the driveway and hand buried it under here i'm going to put the splice for it where i connect the two sections right next to this pole so in the future i can remember where it's at So next what we'll do, I'll bury that real quick um, at the under end of the driveway and then we'll run to the back of the property and splice those other two and uh, it should be live and operational.
All right, guys, that is what we're talking about. So the left light is power. This right light over here is uh, the loop light. So since that is on, we have a continuous circuit and dog's fence should be good to go. All right, guys, so I just spent the last little bit. I filled up the lawn roller and I uh, took all the pieces that had flipped upside down and I kicked them back over. So now um, anywhere that I can save the grass, it is uh, flipped up on top. And I'm gonna roll over this right now and smash it all down. Um, honestly, that's not too bad. Um, one thing I just remembered I need to do actually is uh, over here by these pine trees, they had some big, big, big roots and it didn't break them all the way off and I can't pull them out. So I need to cut those out real quick, real quick. So let me uh, handle that real quick and then we'll roll over all this. But as you can see, like right here, once that smashes back down, that'll look phenomenal. And uh, I couldn't be happier, honestly. So So I walked or rolled it twice and uh, it actually goes right there. So flattened it right out. Looks really good. We're supposed to get rain, um, I think most of the day tomorrow. So should uh, hopefully help all this grass get a good drink. And uh, maybe keep it from getting too shocked and all that good stuff. So I appreciate you guys tuning in and watching. Uh, this has been something that I've been wanting to get done for a long time and glad that I finally had the opportunity today. So, um, as always, thanks for watching. Uh, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, please do so and hit the like button. That definitely goes a long way to help the channel uh, spread to other viewers. So, you guys have a great day and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.